Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be my 12 pregnancy hacks. Uh, things that I wish that somebody would have told me when I got pregnant. Um, a lot of these things I kind of figured out along the way and um, I wanted to share them with you guys. This is for my mamas out there who are expecting um, or you know, you just wanna watch this video and you want the tea, just in case girl, um, I got you. So stay tuned, keep watching. I'm gonna go through all of my pregnancy hacks with you guys. I am in my third trimester now, so we made it. For those of you that are in your third trimester, Girl, you made it, okay? And for those of you who are in your first trimester, I know what you're going through, I know how you're feeling. Um, these are some of the things that got me through, certain things like nausea, etc., that may have been a little unconventional. So I just wanted to go over those with you guys. Number one, numero uno is going to be stay hydrated. Of course, I'm sure you guys are like, oh, obviously, obviously I need to stay hydrated, seriously. Thank you so much for this video. But no, it's more important than you realize and I want you to really take this seriously. Your body needs water, more water than you needed before you got pregnant, yes? So the recommended amount of water is 10 cups of water, uh, which is 2.3 liters a day. I basically just go for the gallon. Um, I try to crush a gallon during the day. A gallon is, 3.78 liters, okay? So if you can get anywhere even close to finishing this, you've done a great job, you made it through the day, you've either reached or maxed out your daily water intake that is necessary when you are pregnant. One of the hacks that I would suggest to make sure you're actually hydrated because you also need electrolytes. Your body needs electrolytes to make sure that you're hydrated. And one of the things that I started to do is drink Pedialyte. It replaces electrolytes and it replenishes zinc um i don't drink this whole thing a day obviously what i do is i drink a little cup of this each day um it it's not the best tasting thing but um if you add ice to it and drink it ice cold it works for me um and it definitely helps to hydrate you just to stress the importance of staying hydrated if you're not hydrated enough then it can actually cause a uh, preterm labor or contractions um, because your body is not receiving enough water. And that kind of happened to me. I was actually drinking a ton of water, but I wasn't drinking Pedialyte or Gatorade or anything that would replace electrolytes. And I was working out, it was, I live in South Florida, it was really hot. I just, you know, I was doing my daily walk. I walked a little bit further than I was supposed to, a little bit longer outside than I was supposed to. And it landed me in the hospital that night because I started to have contractions that would not stop. And they had to put an IV in my arm. It was miserable. I do not like needles. I do not like hospitals. And so just to avoid that, I added Pedialyte to my diet, not just water. So I would definitely suggest this um, just to make sure you're staying hydrated enough if you're finding that you're drinking a ton of water and you're still really 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 thirsty you're probably not getting enough electrolytes and i would highly suggest this to avoid things like needing an iv just to get the the amount of hydration that you need okay so that's number one number two stay moisturized so your skin is constantly changing when you're pregnant. Um, you're stretching, your belly stretching, your thighs are stretching, your hips are stretching, your boobs are stretching, everything is getting bigger, right? And so it's the, the furthest your skin is probably ever stretched before and you're going to need to stay moisturized. And I don't just mean your regular lotion. Um, you, I don't just mean baby oil because baby oil doesn't really penetrate the skin the way that you need it to to fully moisturize your skin. Um, this will help you to prevent stretch marks we want to prevent stretch marks girl we don't need that we don't need that we want to just we want that snap back to be beautiful now mind you I do know that um, they say that stretch marks are hereditary um, and that if your mother or your grandmother had them then you will most likely have them as well as to how true that is or not I, I'm not sure so let's do our very best to just prevent them um, on our own and to the extent that we can control. I tried a few different things and the thing that works the best for me so far is this Silky Skin Custard. I really love this stuff, can you see that? This stuff is great. Um, let me just show you the consistency of it. It's very thick and it has raw African shea butter, cold pressed olive oil, pure vitamin E oil, green tea extract and then it has an essential herbal blend 
um, of other essential herbs that are going to help prevent stretch marks and keep your skin supple. This stuff also helps people with eczema um, and helps to get rid of that. It's a great product. I, I really, really do love it. I will say that I'm using this two to three times a day. You want to use your moisturizer two to three times a day you want to use something that is real essential oils not just the lotion from the store that is store bought with a bunch of things that you can't pronounce you don't know what's in it shea butter is an all-time just one of those old school butters that keeps your skin beautiful so i'm already at the end of my first jar this is actually what <laughs> the jar that i am on right now looks like now, a little bit does go a long way which is great about this product um, because once you put it into your skin it is oil based and so it, it kind of melts right away but yeah I went through this for those of you who follow me on Instagram and on my other social networks and on snapchat I know you guys have been seeing a lot of my pictures of my belly that I've been posting and a lot of you have been asking what I have been using to keep my belly clear and to keep it from getting stretch marks and this is the secret ingredient I promised that I would share it with you guys um, this video is sponsored by them and I am happy and proud to say that I use this product because it really is that great and um, all the opinions are my own and if I didn't like it I wouldn't share it with you guys especially when it comes to something this serious especially after me wasting my money on bio oil and being highly disappointed okay so maybe bio oil is working for you good for you more power to you girl I definitely used it and to be honest with you i was not impressed it did not help me it did not penetrate my skin enough it basically it just felt like i was putting on baby oil and it wasn't really penetrating the skin i found myself still kind of itching still feeling like i wasn't moisturizing enough not really feeling that moisture definitely i would suggest this over bio oil mostly because bio oil has a bunch of stuff that i couldn't even pronounce in here and i don't like that like i don't know what that is okay so i'm going to be doing a giveaway on this product because it's that good and I think that you need to have it in your life, okay? So if you're interested in the giveaway and receiving this product, please just comment on this video. I want the Silky Skin Custard. Make sure that you like this video and you are subscribed to my channel and just follow me on Instagram and like the corresponding photo to this video about my pregnancy hacks um, and say that I want the Silky Skin Custard. And I'll list all of the the directions for the giveaway in the description box below in case you didn't catch all of that but yes i will be giving this away i have more packaged and ready to go i know this is a very sensitive topic stretch marks and skin and trying to keep our youth and keep our skin you know the skin that i started with on my body before i come to the end of this pregnancy so i get you and i got you girl okay so that's that number three take your prenatal vitamins my prenatal vitamin of choice is my kind organics this is can you see that it is a whole food multivitamin um it's all natural and i got this from whole foods i would highly suggest finding an all natural prenatal vitamin do not skip this step i'm sure you know if you're pregnant you know that you need to be taking prenatal vitamins i can't imagine that you wouldn't but if you don't i'm here to tell you that you cannot skip this step the baby needs all these vitamins and you're probably not getting enough vitamins just from your food to cover all of those food sources and nutrients that are necessary especially folic acid which is very 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 important for your baby to grow um, for their brain health and stuff like that so make sure that you are taking a prenatal vitamin i would highly suggest a whole vitamin that is all natural because it breaks down easier you know what's going into your baby it's not giving your baby any extra chemicals that it doesn't need that you don't want in your body that you don't want to be feeding um you know a, a fetus and in, in, in your newborn and so i'm going to be using this as well uh, going into breastfeeding i highly suggest this stuff all right four how to prevent heartburn oh it's the worst it hurts so bad i've never had heartburn in my life until i got pregnant and it's the most uncomfortable thing ever like like it's terrible it's ter like certain things i would love to eat that i was actually craving like i was craving hot spicy foods i love <sighs> so many things i love that i just can't eat anymore because i was getting extreme heartburn so uh, for the most part i try to avoid those foods but even when i'm avoiding those foods i still get heartburn sometimes i'm sure that you guys are experiencing that or if you aren't yet you probably will before the end of this pregnancy 
um, two things that you can do to get rid of heartburn. One is milk. Um, I personally don't drink cow's milk, um, but I do use almond milk. So if you drink milk, then use milk. If you don't drink milk, there is an alternative. Almond milk works just as, just the same. It works just as good. Um, so I use almond milk. And then the other thing that you can do too is apple cider vinegar. This is raw apple cider vinegar. Um, it, you can do that to your discretion. Some people don't like to use raw apple cider vinegar when they're pregnant. That's up to you. Um, I'm an all natural girl, so it's been working fine for me. Um, and you just add it to like add a little tablespoon to some water, and you can add honey if you like, whatever. But definitely apple cider vinegar helps to get rid of heartburn as well. I will be honest and say that my go-to is milk more than apple cider vinegar just because I prefer the taste of milk than vinegar um, while I'm pregnant right now. So that's a great hack, definitely do that. Five, stop bleeding gums. I don't know about you guys, but halfway through my pregnancy, when I hit the second trimester, all of a sudden like I'm brushing my teeth and I look up and it's like a crime scene, okay? And I'm just like, why are my teeth bleeding? And actually, my gums are bleeding. You, um, you're producing more blood when you are pregnant, and then your gums can become very sensitive. And so I had to switch. I use I use a medium brush. I I like to feel like I'm scrubbing my teeth. I had to switch to a soft brush, first of all. Second of all, my midwife suggested that I start taking vitamin E. Um, and this literally within three days stopped my teeth from like I was literally dealing with my teeth bleeding or my gums bleeding I should say for about Two weeks, I think I think it was two weeks straight that I was just like and I finally thought to ask her about it And she suggested vitamin E and vitamin E actually does stop your um, stop bleeding I was also getting um nosebleeds. I started to get I had nosebleeds for about two days and my gums bled for about two weeks both things went away simultaneously when I started getting, when I started taking vitamin E. So I only take one a day. This will help with that. Um, don't just sit there and let yourself, let your gums bleed and like deal with that. I've heard women say, oh yeah, I had that through my whole pregnancy. You don't have to deal with that. And this actually worked for me. So that is one of my suggestions for stopping bleeding gums and nosebleeds, okay? Number six. Prevent nausea. Obviously, if you're pregnant, especially in your first trimester, being nauseous is just unfortunately all too common and we all probably deal with it at some point if you didn't get nauseous at all during your pregnancy god bless you you are an alien but for me i definitely got nauseous um i definitely wasn't feeling well for uh, i feel like it was up until like 12 weeks or 15 weeks and then at one point in my second trimester for like a week i got nauseous again which is really Weird. I still don't know what happened with that, but it went away. Praise God. So, um, what I did when I got nauseous, um, a few things that you can do. One, you can use uh, peppermints if you want something that's tasty. Um, you can use peppermint tea, or you can use ginger, ginger tea, or um, you can use. There's these ginger candies that I already finished them. I was just looking for them, um, but I finished them in my first trimester, so they those are gone. And I'll list in the description box below a link to which ones I was using. There are these little ginger candies and they're kind of coated in sugar and those helped me through my whole pregnancy. They were like uh, gummies and I would keep them in a Ziploc bag in my purse just in case I needed them or I would keep some peppermints around me and that would help. The other thing that really, really, really helped me, which is probably pretty unconventional, but it worked, was ice water. Ice water, I would keep ice water next to me in the middle of the night tons and tons of ice and water and in the middle of the night when I would get nauseous right before I got out of bed in the morning it'd be right next to my bed and I would drink it throughout the night and I would even get up in the middle of the night to refill that glass of water and something about ice water just completely settled my stomach and so that was my major hack that worked for me better than even ginger so maybe I was just dehydrated and something about it being cold helped settle my stomach but that's something I would definitely suggest um, if you're if none of like if peppermint and ginger is not working for you um, you might just be dehydrated and you might just need ice cold water it works girl try it okay you're welcome <laughs> number seven how to stop cramps specifically leg cramps um, I started to get really crazy leg cramps in the middle of the night when I was sleeping I'd sleep on one side and like literally wake up and like could not feel my leg like the worst Charlie horse ever so if you're getting stuff like that it probably means that you're low in potassium and so what you want to do is buy a bunch of bananas and eat a banana before you go to sleep at night or um, when you wake up in the morning but try to eat at least one a day number eight sleep 
how do you get more sleep? How can you get comfortable when you sleep, especially as you're getting um, larger and your belly's getting bigger and it's harder to get comfortable. Um, they have these pregnancy pillows that I love. It's too big to bring out here, but I will put a picture up here and put a description below and it kind of folds around you and you can kind of just cuddle with it and fall into it and that helps a lot. Or you can just buy a bunch of pillows <laughs> or just use all the pillows that you have and pop them up on the side of your belly and make sure as well that you're sleeping on your left side as much as you can um, sleeping on your left side is going to help all the blood more blood to flow to your uterus and it's going to also help the baby to somehow and i don't know why but studies show that will help the baby to stay head down which is how you want the baby you want the baby's head to be head down and so you have an easier labor uh, apparently sleeping on your left side will help to keep the baby in that position and help blood flow and help you to get a better night's sleep so you want to try to sleep on your left side as much as possible i know sometimes we don't want to do that and sometimes i definitely sleep on my right side but it will help if you sleep on your left okay number nine this is not pleasant it's not cute but we do need to address it stop constipation <laughs> prevent yourself from getting constipated for some reason when you're pregnant you just have a higher possibility of being constipated and so you want to avoid that and the way to avoid that is um to make sure that you're taking in a lot of fiber and magnesium so you can do uh like a raisin bran uh spinach helps a lot too or make a green drink that is spinach and kale and stuff like that or you can take a magnesium supplement will definitely help you to stay regular <laughs> so disgusting to talk about but it's real like it is what it is you know what i mean and it's not comfortable to be pregnant you already feel like you're full and now you feel like you can't poop like no not cool number 10 prevent acne while you're pregnant now i'm not saying that my skin is perfect i definitely have like a blemish right here right now that she came out of nowhere. I don't even know where she came from. But some of the best ways to prevent acne while you're pregnant um, are to try some natural uh, solutions. And the thing about being pregnant is, you know, you feel like you're, you lose control of your skin. And at, at, in the beginning, my skin did kind of get away from me. I felt like I was starting to have more blemishes and more breakouts and it was just getting discolor like random discoloration. And so um, I went, these are my go-tos and they worked for me almost immediately. Um, I use, after washing my face with whatever you prefer, um, I prefer African black soap because it's all natural and it works well for me. But whatever you wash your face with when you get out of the shower, you want to uh, first use uh, Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel is an all natural skin toner. It's really great. It, it tones your pores, it's natural, and it removes and balances oil. It helps to depuff around your eyes and stuff like that. Um, so I love this stuff. I use this first. And then what I do next is, this is um, a little jar that I, I made of apple cider vinegar, the organic kind, non-filtered. Um, half apple cider vinegar, half water. You wanna make sure it's not too strong. And I use this as a toner. This um, is works as, as like an antibacterial. It keeps your skin clear and it just works really, really, really great. If you can stand the smell, I know when you're pregnant you might not want to have to smell this, but to me, I got over the smell because I wanted to zap those pimples and zap those blemishes immediately in the butt. And so I use this every night and every morning whenever I wash my face. Um, and I use this right before I use my moisturizer. And what I use as a moisturizer is rosehip oil. This is rosehip oil with vitamin E. This stuff is great. It helps to get rid of blemishes. It's a natural oil and a natural moisturizer so that my skin is not overreacting to anything crazy that might be in a random drugstore brand um, of who knows what, things I can't pronounce. So those all work for me. If you're suffering from acne or blemishes while you're pregnant, obviously it's, it's pretty natural. Your skin does change, your hormones are going crazy, but this has helped me to kind of keep it to a minimum, okay? Just one of these right now instead of 10 of them like it was like my first trimester, I was like, I can't live like this. So I would definitely suggest these for um, to prevent acne while you're pregnant. Number 11, strengthen your womb. Now this is something you won't really need until you're in your third trimester. Um, they say you can start in your second trimester. I waited um, and I feel good about the fact that I waited because there are mixed reviews on it, but this is raspberry leaf tea. You can see that. Can see it? it basically helps to strengthen your womb and um, it helps your uterus to be more toned and more productive in labor. So this is just to prepare you for that day, girl. For that day. I'll let you know how good it works <laughs> because obviously this is my first child and I've, this is my first time doing all of this, but this is what I um, 
have found to be highly suggested by other mothers and so I am doing this. I would suggest waiting until your third trimester. You can google it and then use it at your own discretion. A lot of people started at their second trimester. Number 12, the very very last one. We are at the end of this video. Number 12 is prepare for labor. How? Girl, I don't know. I ain't never done it before. <laughs> no. Some ways to prepare for labor are one, squats doing squats improve and strengthen your pelvic floor and strengthen your legs and basically just strengthen your body in preparation to have a baby so squats are important don't overdo it you know what i'm saying but definitely squatting is said to help you to prepare to have a baby two you can do prenatal yoga uh, which is great for keeping you flexible and limber i am having an at-home water birth so i definitely want to be flexible and uh, the third thing which i am doing is called hypno babies it's basically a program where it's preparing you for labor. It's supposed to get rid of the fear factor. And basically is a set of uh, CDs uh, that are like guided meditations that a lot of people said have put them to sleep because it's so relaxing. Calming your body, calming your mind and telling you, you know, that you can do this. And for people, for instance, who are allergic to anesthesia, for instance, or don't want to use an anesthesia or don't want to use um, a, a painkiller, it's said to be like a hypno anesthesia. So basically what they claim is that they can help to make your labor less painful or painless and even euphoric. So um, that's what I'm doing. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'll give you my update on Hypno Babies. Uh, but so far it's the best program that I found that has made me feel a little bit more comfortable about going into this labor uh, all natural with no drugs, no epidural, at home uh, without a doctor. And so that's what I'm using. So those are some ways to prepare for labor. That is my 12 pregnancy hacks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. If so, please say so in the comment below. Like it, share it. If you have any pregnancy hacks that I didn't mention that you want to share with me, please do. Please do. I will take all the hacks I can get, okay? These are the 12 that I came up with. I'm sure there are a bunch more. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see a more in-depth um, behind the scenes of what's going on with my pregnancy as well, you can go and follow my vlog channel that I have with Bruce. Um, it's called Cerise and Bruce. I'll put a link below. And um, we did our pregnancy test there. And um, we filmed our first ultrasound on there. And I'll be um, sharing my birth story there. So you guys can go and see the rest of what's going on, the behind the scenes if you want to know more about this. And to all my mommies out there, good luck. I hope you guys are feeling well. I hope this video was helpful. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. And yeah, let's go through this journey together. And for those of you who aren't pregnant and who are just watching this video and just supporting me on my, my journey, I really appreciate that. I love you guys so much for all the love you sent me on here and on Instagram and on Snapchat just kind of, you know, telling me that you know, you're happy for me and happy for the baby. And so I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in the next video, okay? I love you. Baby, look at what you've done. Got me feeding for it all day long. And I wasn't looking for nothing. But now you got my attention. Yeah, you got it, you got it. No competition, you're the one.